Labor Day traditionally marks the time when many Americans return from vacation, get ready for school, and become focused on politics in an election year. And this 2024 is no exception. Unfortunately, this first week of September was marred by yet another mass shooting. Four people were killed by a lone shooter at a Georgia high school. A 14-year-old suspect, Colt Gray, has been arrested and charged, along with his father, Colin Gray. Neither liberals nor conservatives seem capable of ending this recurring madness with guns. Elon Musk is in the news again, this time for a squabble with Brazilian Supreme Court Justice Alessandri G. Moraes, who has banned X due to alleged hate speech. Musk responded on X. In related international news, Japan has offered to buy U.S. steel for $14 billion, and the company's CEO says it needs the money to stay in Pittsburgh. In a rare moment of political unity, President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump have all lined up against the sale. Stay tuned. In a departure from Lutheran tradition in Sweden, couples who are getting married have chosen to have the father of the bride escort her down the aisle. But some Swedes don't like it. They prefer the old method of both bride and bridegroom strolling together. This too will be resolved, we hope. Finally, Larry the Cat may soon meet the newest member of Prime Minister Keir Starmer's family. Larry has roamed number 10 Downing Street for 13 years as the official mouse catcher, but he hasn't always welcomed newcomers to his territory. The Prime Minister's daughter has adopted a male Siberian kitten named Jojo. Let's hope that Larry and Jojo get along. Great Britain can certainly enjoy some peace and quiet right now. That's it. Time's up.